mae wedi gwneud ei benderfyniad a does neb yn gallu dadle ag e. Screwfix Sprint, yn noddi pêl droed ar S4X. Good evening and welcome to the University of South Wales Sports Ground where Pontefridge United entertain Cardiff Met University in Scorio's live Cymru Premier League game for the weekend. Ponty in their first season at this level are not finding life easy and they are currently sitting in the bottom two of the league while their near neighbours Cardiff Met from 11 miles down the road are sitting in sixth spot and looking to finish in the top half for the first time in a few seasons. Alongside me this evening, Tommy Morgan... Good evening, Tom, and really looking forward to this game this evening. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, everybody. Yes, it should be an intriguing tie. This game, local derby in South Wales between Pontypridd and Cardiff Met. Both teams needing the points for different reasons. It's a big night, in fact, Tom, in this league, and we, I think we just better let everybody know. I hopefully we'll be having uh, scores across the screens in the 90 minutes. Uh, it's a full fixture this evening, all bar one. Just to let you know out there that uh, TNS and Aberystwyth is being called off. There's the Pont de Pride lineup, Tommy. Uh, for you, any special standouts in there for this evening's game? Um, interesting to see a few changes, and uh, for me. It's interesting um, that Bloom comes into midfield there as a attacking player and uh, Hunt moves from left back to left wing. So um, interesting to see what the tactics are behind that from yeah. Stokes, the manager. See, they've gone to 4 3 3, and there, here is the, the Met who had a, their last league game. The Mets' last league game was a cracking 1 0 victory over Bala, and I don't think they've altered much from that. No, certainly. Uh, Cardiff Met looking for a bit more consistency probably but seven players have started every game this season so that's probably a big difference between the two teams and uh, Chris Baker there he's Mr Reliable in midfield for the Met Do you see him going 4-4-2 Tom? Um, I just think they'll be having a look at how each other play and there's Bayern the Moon four goals in ten appearances this season I think uh, Pontrepi need him to stay fit this season. Yeah, and he needs to get amongst the goals. And, yeah, uh, can't agree with him all there. Other uh, man in view there, Sam Jones had a wonderful start to the season. Player of the month for August. And uh, he seems to switched off. He needs to start coming back now, Sam, and getting some more goals. Well, I'll defend him a little bit there, Mark. You know, he's got nine goals this season so far. Three in the Nathaniel and six in the league. That's a pretty good yeah, but like Tally I said, he, really, Mark, he, but he got his six in September. I'm sure Sam yeah. will want to uh, add to it this evening. When he does play well, he's one of the better forwards in this league. Baker, Chris Baker, like you said, Tom, uh, standout midfielder. He's 29 years of age now, Chris Baker. He's been around the block in this league. And he's the one sort of player that goes under the radar. Nobody likes playing against him. No, certainly uh, he's a real strong player. And... You know, Cardiff Met are really strong down the middle, aren't they? Let's be honest. Emily Lewis in the back, Chris Baker in the middle of midfield, Sam Jones down the middle. It's Ponte Pride who kick off here at the University Sports Ground in Ponte Pride. Dixon Cobongo gets the first header away. Ponte in their white tops and Cardiff Met in their maroon. Cardiff Met University colours. Ponty have Corey Jenkins, Vincent, Joe Evans and Baldock at the back. Kieran Lewis, Curtis Reese, and James Bloom in midfield. Lewis, Twamley, Ben Amoon and Joe Hunt as a top three. Long throw. Go short, in fact. Twamley gets a first touch. Chance to fire one across. Hooked away by Kyle McCarthy and a great touch by Sam Jones. First touch was wonderful. Vincent's first touch wasn't that great, but he got away with it. Hunt. I hope this game carries on at this pace, Top. Cracking pace the start of this game. Yeah, certainly. A moon showing this strength there against Emlyn Lewis. There's one battle that's going to be a battle yeah. all night. Emlyn yeah. Lewis and Ben Amoon. Two six foot three uh, 
good footballers in this league. Go through the Cardiff Met team, Alex Langen goals, Matt Chubb, Emlyn Lewis, Kyle McCarthy, CJ Craven, the back four, Elliot Evans, Chris Baker, Dixon Cabongo, and Harry Owen in midfield, and Sam Jones and Lewis Reese as the top two. Got, interesting one, Tom, is for me, is you've got two quick footballers up top for the Met, Sam Jones and Lewis Reese, and they are footballing type of centre forwards, aren't they? Yeah, I think. Uh... They'd be definitely looking to trouble the Ponty defence, who, you know, have leaked goals this season, 25 goals conceded already. So uh, if you're a striker playing against them, you'd be uh, fancying your opportunities this evening, wouldn't you? Well, I certainly would be. Lewis to Chubb. They will play around at the back of the Met, as we know. They'll pass side to side and wait their chances. Seeing that, Tom. Stood six foot above this service there's myself and you Andy Legs alongside us doing a piece for the uh, BBC as well and uh, I think a couple of players even if already just like to get on that pitch what a carpet yeah certainly looks a pristine surface to play on McCarthy fires one long Lewis Reese did really well to keep that in Jones it's a good tackle in midfield Amun, it's a tug. First foul of the evening from Ben Amun. Tugs back Kyle McCarthy. And the Met, as per usual, will get it down and try and pass. Yeah, I, I just like Amun sometimes. You know, you've got to show that you're physically up for it as well. Uh, and he did that there. Absolutely, especially when, like you said, you're six for three centre forward. It's not the greatest of passes there from Elliot Evans. Kieran Lewis gets on it. Joe Hunt, who's been excellent so far this season gets his team a corner, that's hard work hard work and Graf got him the corner there he didn't give it up going down in the corner no, and he gets his team the first corner of the evening yeah, he saved it initially going out for a throw in and then nearly overran it but did well to get a corner out of it Lewis Twamley and Kieran Lewis on the short corner. Big men in. Amun's in there. James Bloom's in there. Not bad in the air. Cabango heads away. Evans. Good touch. It's an interesting one there when the referee gets in the way. I suppose there's nothing you can do. Well, he didn't touch the ref, so... No, not the ball. I mean, he stopped the player, didn't he? Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Ponty in 11th place, Tom. Like for me, the Met I know will be looking for three, but an away point is always an away point, whatever in this league. But Ponty got to get something from this game for me. Yeah, certainly uh, they've struggled a little bit at home and so struggled of late. Just one win in the last five, and that was against uh, probably the poorest team in the league this season. No foul given. A moon against Emlyn Lewis. Amun dancing with the ball underneath his feet, gets it away. Great ball off to Joe Hunt, trying to take the shot on early. Good stand-up play from Chud, good defending. That'll be a good battle all evening, I will. Yeah, certainly, you can see why Hunt's been switched from left-back to on the left wing. But Ben Amun's showing some really silky skills on the edge of the penalty area there. It's Ponty who've uh, come out the quicker of the two teams and are having a go in the first five minutes. Lewis to Hunt. Flag just stays straight offside. I think that Met maybe this time go long and just get a bit of distance on the kick. It's Kieran Lewis is Ben Amun. I think he'll know Ben Amun with the injuries at the moment. He is a key part in this team. Yeah, I said earlier, Mark, they definitely need to keep Ben fit. He is the focal point of their attack. Tell you what, mine, Tom, this Cardiff Met team, the likes of Emlyn Lewis, Cole McCarthy, Chris Baker, Elliot Evans and company, wow, they've been together now six or seven years in this team and uh, been good servants to the students uh, of Cardiff Met. Yeah, certainly have, Mark, but is it true they haven't been in the top six or for a number of seasons now, though, so you'd expect them to really be doing better? Almost, the switch was almost on then, Harry Owen was nearly in. Just headed out by Corey Jenkins. 
It's a cold evening at um, Pont de Preet. Brisk winter's evening, shall we say, Tom? Or shall I tell the truth and tell the viewers we're freezing cold already? <laughs> Not quite yet, Mark. Juan Griffith, the man in the middle this evening. One of uh, the Welsh Cymru Premier League's top officials is uh, Ash Morris, veteran of this league, ex uh, Lanetli, Bala, regular European footballer. I bet he's been in Europe ten times. Yeah, certainly had a, a great career Caught. as Ashley Morris. Jenkins. Owen heads in. Reese, the, the, the balance and shape has started well. Ponty seems to suit them. Evans, Chubb. Eminem Lewis just loves that diag. And I mean, he's picked it out beautifully that time. Owen, a lot of space out there for him then. Owen has the chance to get it in. Drives it across, should have put the cross in. Chance, CJ Craven, it's a good block down from Jenkins. Twamley runs at Cabongo. Twamley's at Newport County. Dixon Cabongo was at Newport County. Uh, Cabongo did really well there. Chasing back, Mark. Yeah, he did. Good tracking Very back. Very well. It's great to see last week, Tom. I don't know whether he watched in Newport County in the FA Cup. Priestley Farquharson, ex of our league in the goals again. And uh, James Waite and Will Evans all... Uh, Starting in the Newport County lineups, which is great to see. Yeah, absolutely. They interviewed the young lad Twamley on Scorio this week, and he he said how surprised he was how how good the league was. Yeah, how physical and how yeah. how pacey it was as well. Great header from Chubb, leapt up. Should be used like that more often, if you ask me. Good athlete, he should be used more in them areas. I mean, he's climbed down one that header, Tom. Yeah, they certainly got a pattern of play. They try and get their full backs high up the pitch on opposite sides. Morris, Craven, heads it back in. Joe Evans just hooks it out for the throw in. Like we said, Tom, they've led in 25 goals and you haven't had the greatest of runs. Do you, do you really try and go back to basics as much as you can? Well, I think it's uh, been really difficult for the manager here this season. He's had a lot. Of, he's got a big squad, but he's got a lot of injuries to contend with, and and it was a late start as well for him. Yeah, being accepted into the league, getting the balance right is so difficult. You know yourself, Mark. You know, it, yeah. like the Mets have got seven regulars that played every game this season. That makes a massive difference. Chubb throws a flat throw in. Craven. The greatest of balls from Craven. Chubb gets it before the centre forward and gets the free kick. Surely, no, this is where they've got to get Harry Owen on this. Send the big men in, Baker and the likes. Emlyn Lewis will go forward. Matt Chubb will go forward. The results from this evening so far Airbus nil, Connors Key nil, Coynava nil, Newtown one, Haverford West nil, Pennebont nil, Ballon nil, Flint nil. Scott TNS and Aberdon is a nil-nil there, Tom. So did it start? I don't know. Good question. Reese, Lewis, Reese, Lewis will be the target on the far post. Reese undercooks it a bit. Decent headed away from Jenkins again. Reese, Owen. I've watched Harry Owen for a couple of years now, has all the ability in the world. For me, just needs to start lighting up a few games, though, Tom. Yeah, he needs to do more in the top third of the pitch, Mark. He's got the ability to get past people, but you've got to get past them, get the crosses in. And make something happen. Yeah, mix, get some assists. Lewis. Chubb just trying, trying to get the angle again there's the Diag again the Emlyn Lewis Diag Craven keen to win the first header 
to, to, to be fair to uh, Cardiff Met, what they do really well is they make the pitch really big. They switch play to the full backs, then comes Emlyn Lewis, Emlyn does the big switch um, from both sides. Yeah, and play the, the two strikers quite narrow and close together, which allows the wide men room. Cabango, again a good header in the mix there, another free kick given. Just starting to get a grip of this game after 11 minutes, the Met. It was a bright start from the home team, Ponty. Short corner, Reese. That's poor. I mean, if you're going to knock it in, knock it in first time. Otherwise, don't do it short and just throw it in like that. Straight into the goalkeeper. I think Alfred West has uh, taken the lead, Mark. Against uh, Pennebon. That's a yeah. big game, that one tonight. Is it Elliot Duggan? That's a massive game. They've hit a bit of form now, Halford West. Two or three wins in a row. It's what you need. Still plenty of hope set of a top six finish, I think. Baldock against Evans. Look at Baker. Baker travels really quickly to get there. Puts Baldock under pressure and earns his team something. Evans, great cross. Hunt. Hunt keeps it in play. Lewis. Amun. Taken quickly, the partnership there has played together many times. Carl McCarthy and Emlyn Lewis. Great ball. Good touch as well from Chubb. Evans. Chubb will do it first time. Also, great ball in from Chubb. Chance here. Not the greatest of headers. Yeah, terrific cross though. He went off for a corner by the look of it, I think. Yeah, he got off the defender, Mark. Yeah. It's a terrific. They're starting to shift the ball well, Tom. Yeah, superb cross there. Chubb gets plenty of height on it. Good header as well. Yeah, this has been a pivotal point so far in the season. For Ponty, giving too many goals away from set plays. Owen flashes it across. Hooked away by Twamley. McCarthy. Chubb heads it back into the mixer. Yeah, Kieran Lewis did everything well there, just looked after the ball. Lewis thumps it back in with the header. Jones flicks it on, it goes through to Ash Morris. It's a busy game. Almost 15 on the clock already. No goalkeeper really being worked as yet. But it's a good tempo to the game. Yeah, certainly you're right with your analysis, Mark. Home side started busily first few minutes, but since then... Cardiff met a dominated possession of the game. Yeah, it mustn't come back too quick, Tom, must it? They've got to try and keep it up in the Mets' half, even if it's for periods of play, that's all. Yeah. They're 11th in the table, Ponty. They've played 14, won four, drawn one and lost nine. There's Bloom. Back in this evening, James Bloom. Actually played for me at Portal, but he was an excellent, excellent young left back, flying left back, and had a great chance of being a professional footballer. He was, in fact, for Cardiff, I think, and Falkirk and the likes. Just a bit of bad luck with injuries went against him. Yes, yeah, certainly a new role for him this evening. There, he's a bit of a holder, I think. Morris just taking his time. Referee says, "Can we?" Hurry up. Connors Key have taken the lead at Airbus already. 1-0. I think that could be a long night. Newtown again. Bratley got the goal for Connors Key, Mark. Bratley doing really well. Havadar 1-0 up against Pennebon. Bala 0-0 against Flint. And the New Saints. Ann Arbor. We will find out for that one, Tom. Ah, see. Harry Franklin, I think, was the goal scorer there. Not Bratley. Well, Franklin got the goal, did he? Yeah. Yeah. Start to piece together a good side there at Connors Key. Hunt, great effort. Not the worst effort there from Joe Hunt. It's on target, first shot of the evening on target. Match up. It's not the worst ball, you know. Vincent 
does well in the end. I think Lewis Reece should have put him under more pressure then. Yeah. The ball was in behind him. Just hunts, volley most probably. Yeah, good technique there. Yeah, great technique and a good technique from the goalkeeper as well. Dealt with it really well. McCarthy out jumping a moon. That's got to be the wrong result there for Amun. I mean, he's six foot three, and McCarthy's five foot eight. You've got to, you've got to dominate them areas. I'm sure Ryan Jenkins, as manager of uh, Cardiff Met, would have told his strikers tonight: be aware, because if anything, this season Pontypridd have made some real bloomers defensively. You know, individual mistakes. So it's really important if you're a striker for the opposing team, hey, be on your toes. They are you know, susceptible to making mistakes. Well, the mood around the game, Tom, this evening, as we know we let the viewers know, is it was a bag of injuries for Ponty, six or seven, we were told at least. So I would think, were they to get a point from this game tonight, that would be a profitable point. Yeah, I think, though, you've got to start sooner or later winning your games at home, Mark. Yeah, I agree. Chubb, it's getting a lot of room out here, Chubb. Knocks the ball in. Nobody's gone in and taken a gamble. It's not the worst ball, by the way, again. No, Vincent, he went to play that, didn't he? If he had a touch on that, the keeper was in no-man's land. You might see that again, but it's a decent ball in. By Chubb, to be fair to him. It's key for the Met wingers, Harry Owen or Elliot Evans, to join up in the box if they can. Because for me, Baker and Cavango, they are holding midfielders. They're never going to join up the front two. No. Lewis. Lewis tries to clip one in behind. Baldock has a great touch from the left back. Just clears his lines again. McCarthy, they're starting to look comfortable on the ball, Amet. Owen. Beats a man with ease. But then again, just runs up a dark alley. And gives the ball away. Yeah, looking really busy, aren't they? Uh, Cardiff Met. They're on top for the Evans. Point of breathe all the all the time. Soon as they get in possession, passing it really well. Owen gets a shot off the block. It was from Vincent. Yeah, many a time I've got went to the Met Tom to watch them train under the likes of uh, Christian Edwards, and they they do fizz the ball around well, don't they? In, in like I think they're more entertaining as well. There's a more entertaining team to watch this season, to be fair to them. That's not a slight against uh, no, Christian Edwards, by the way. But the top six would be yeah. magic for him. Chubb. Lewis. McCarthy. A lot of these type of uh, are these World Cup passes for you in your own half. <laughs> Chance to put it in now, Evans. Great ball in. Got to get on the end of that when they're delivering it like that. Lad in midfield is doing very well already. Reese, Lewis Reese, hooks one across. Oh, Elliot Evans. Could he see the replay of that? Might be a little bit disappointed he didn't get anything on the end of that. Cross comes shot from Lewis Reese. Yeah. Certainly a. That's a really dangerous cross, to be fair to him. Comes inside. Jenkins, a bit too easy for me. He had three players there at the back post. But, you know, Jenkins, as a full-back, you shouldn't be beating that easily, Mark. You, you know, he's, he's got acres of space there. He could have picked out any of three players. Are you asking for a diving head or anything from the winger to try and get something on it? Well, or is it just too much pace on the cross? I think it was a little bit too quick, really, there for any of those three players to react but Reese probably had more time than he thought there yeah Clayton Green uh, Tom as we know one of the uh, one of the better midfielders in this league you know a tough character as well he's missed a lot of games of late due to suspensions after try and get Green back on the park Stokes well obviously he's uh, again one of the key players that's out for Ponte at the moment We keep giving it uh, 20 minutes, Tom. We do obviously have to refer to uh, the World Cup and uh, 
Wales effort in the World Cup, whatever anybody makes of it. I think you'll agree with me, to make the World Cup for the first time was magnificent. It didn't go as planned or as well as we most probably would have liked it to go, but uh, listen, well done for getting there and uh, let's go again in the Euros. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think it's easy to pick holes and, uh, you know, etc cetera, etc cetera. I think we've all got our different opinions about it but at the end of the day it is what it is we qualified it for the first time in 62 years which is absolutely fantastic um, but I think they should reflect on it and you know maybe yes the, the management etc should uh, Hunt on the edge of the box gets his shot off he's looked the most dangerous sorry for coming across you there Tom no no problem but Hunt has uh, been the most dangerous on the edge of the box and he, he's never afraid to try and get the shot off you know no but both him and Twamley Although they're playing as wingers, they, they've come inside a lot. And maybe that's the difference. There's no out ball for Pontypridd. It's, so, it's just a long ball. OK, yeah. this one's well, held up well by Ben Amun. They need to do more of that. So you don't see Amun having much service across... No, not across on the middle, Mark. But, yeah. but the wing... Oh, chance on here. It's not the greatest of balls from Vincent Rees. Great last-ditch tackle from Joe Evans. Sam Jones wanted the pass to be made. That is two minutes after you just talked about making silly errors around yeah. their own area. You just can't afford to make mistakes like that, Mark. They've got away with that one. But it's probably been the story of their season. You know, when you've got 25 goals against you, you can't afford to be making a lot more mistakes or relegation beckons. Chubb to Evans. Just thought when Emlyn had the ball a couple of minutes earlier, just four or five touches instead of two or three to keep the, the forward movement going. They're going to be busy centre halves in there this evening. Yeah. Curtis Reese this time just he's a tough character in midfield recently. He's always uh, uh he's right in front physical, of the referee. shall we say, yeah. There's definitely a borderline yellow card there. I think he'd be better if he should stayed quiet there. Yeah, the follow-through. It yeah. is a follow-through. Yeah, exactly. Definite. And he definitely left something on for Bango. Oh, it was a follow-through as well. Yeah. I mean, Dixon no, Cabongo's no done well not to make a meal of it. Yeah, exactly. But Ewan Gruffy was in a perfect position there. I'm surprised he didn't, uh, you know, give a yellow card for that. But for me, there's too many crosses coming into the box at the moment. Uh, Pepper in the, the yeah, box. absolutely. Yeah, from Evans, from Chubb, from Harry Owen as well. Elliot Evans liable to take one on here. Th 30 yards at Tom. Or Lewis Rees. I think it might be too far for Evans. Rees might take this one on. Seems to be lining it up. Rees. Morris in the centre of the goal. It's a big wall. Some big players in that wall, by the way. Evans. Rees. It's a good wall. Vincent gets the header away. But the pattern of the game is much the oh, same. Oh, Ben Amun. It's yellow. Yeah, he's lucky there. He led with his arm. Yeah, and there's a couple of uh, football people around me, like yourself, Tom, all pointing to the, the elbow. Ben saying no. The referee says yes. He's still down. Referee's in charge here, though. Well, I don't think there's any malice in it, but he just, he, he just leads lent. with it. Yeah, yeah, he leads with the, the forearm, not the elbow. Yeah, I don't, don't think there's no malice intended there. He just probably looked a little bit worse. So the referee most probably right? Uh, yeah. Because you've seen reds given for that in the past. Sorry? You've seen reds given for that in the past. Yeah, absolutely. Is it... Lewis Reese could have been the a key, recipient there. Key point in the game that pleading innocence there. But I mean, I don't think he said he didn't mean any malice there. Reese goes off. He'll obviously protocol now says head injuries have to be checked. The big men go up. Baker goes up. Sam Jones is very decent in the air. Emlyn Lewis and Chubb on the back post for me this time. Not the greatest delivery again. Chubb knocks it back in early. Edge of the box. Owen. Oh, 
G.J. Craven puts one straight through. Chance there. Owens looking for people around him. You can't be looking for people around you when a ball drops like that. You've got to be a little bit braver there. There was a big chance then if he brought that down. I think it was a ball to nothing by McCarthy actually there. He just, at, the, at the end, he just takes his eye off the ball though. It's a better header this time from Amun. Twamley gets the header on. I don't know if the viewers can see this, but they actually got no width at all in their game at the moment, Pontypridd. Lewis, that's what you call getting it down the other end. Started well, it started really sharp, the passing from the Met. You really hope it doesn't turn into a uh, nil-nil affair. No, big game, you know, points-wise this evening, Mark. Met win this game, they go to 24 points. Yeah, and with Abba being at... At TNS, this TNS, evening. you know, it's a big evening for him. Yeah, I actually spoke to Ryan Jenkins earlier on at Bower, and he understands the importance of this game. As, of course, there's Anthony Stokes. Tramley, good ball from Tramley to Hunt. Hunt is playing narrow. He's playing really narrow, which is short giving no width on the left-hand side then. Now, Baldock, the left-back, who just played that pass, Mark, he hasn't been past us, I think, once in a... No, I think he's 20, 20... The back four, in fact, is right in front of us now, and they're going absolutely nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> 27 minutes on the clock, Ponty nil, Met nil in the JD Cymru Premier League. Lewis heads away, Elliot Evans. Joe Evans just throws it back in, asks Kieran Lewis to do something with that. Matt Chubb runs it out of play. Late to scores, Mark. Yeah, all looking forward to these games this evening. A full fixture list. It's Airbus nil, Connors Key one, Narvan nil, Newtown two, Havard one, Pennebont nil, Ballon nil, Flint nil, and the New Saints one. So that game is being played. Aberystwyth nil. Two goals in that Carnarvon game for Aaron Williams, Mark. Oh, he's getting amongst the goals again. What a goal scorer he's. Being a new town seem to have the uh, the bit between the teeth at the moment. Mark. When they're playing, they get, well, definitely when they play Carnarvon. Anyway, yeah. I think it's about five wins in a row against Carnarvon. Yeah, and Carnarvon are such a good team. Chubb, oh Baker, you just got to look after it there and not not yeah. let it get away. Yeah, decent ball in there into his feet there. The shout from the sideline is to keep the ball and not give it away that's a big shout on as well from the manager Ryan Jenkins there's Sam Jones when he's in front of goal he's pretty cool you know there's Jenkins Craig Hanford alongside him ex uh, 300 game plus for Port Talbot and Camarthen Town played under you quite a few games Mark didn't yeah he? De great Craig decent, yeah good decent. lad the old fashioned full back who could mark you know, mark people out of the game. Not many of them type of players around now. Very, uh, you know, didn't worry about his own game all the time. Worried, wor worried more about the team when there's not many players like that. True enough. I think he may come back to that. The referee plays on. Whether he looks at it as a foul or not. Chubb, can he get a run at Bulldog? Chubb, yeah, he gets around him. Not the greatest across in the end. And the referee, Ewan Griffiths, goes and has a word with. Yeah, certainly a little bit late, that tackle. A couple of uh, helicopters going above. They're the 42nd club to play in this league, Ponte Preed United. They came up last season, didn't win the league. Lampwick Major won the league, but they came second under the stewardship of Jonathan Jones. And I mean, off the park, Tom. When you come to, you arrive at their ground and everything. It's it's a it's a, it's a plush affair here, isn't it? Yes, yeah, lovely, nice setup. It's on the park where it counts. 
McCarthy just need to shift it a bit quicker here now Lewis Evans Chubb yeah I don't I don't think you're, you, you're dragging many players around just by going to side to side as slow as that Kabongo gets it out of his feet that's more like it chance to get forward from Chubb Craven chance to go right to the line and get the cross in here great ball in chance oh what's Elliot Evans doing there surely he has to get ahead on that that is fired at him three or four yards from the line and I think he's tried to take it down on his chest yeah Wow, I think he'll be happy that Asta has been ruled out somewhere along the line. Well, we spoke about Harry Owen not delivering crosses on the, off his arm there. I think he got caught between not being too sure what to do there, whether to stoop for the header. There's one thing for certain, Tom. Yeah. You've got to take that first time. Absolutely. Two or three yards outside the post. It's flashed across there from Harry Owen. Yeah. You've got to be trying to put that straight in the back of the net. And for yeah. me, that's a chance gone missing. Now, to, be, to be fair, Thetario is a brilliant cross for him. Yeah, I agree. Chubb just had too much pace for Hunt. Baker. Lewis will go back to Langmost probably if he comes out with it. I think the key plan for Ponty was, I think you brought it up about uh, 10 minutes ago, that that back four is not going anywhere at all tonight, Tom. They are no chance of getting forward. They're just going to try and camp in there and just give the Met as least chances as possible. Reese, chance to cut in here on his left foot. Just didn't put enough on it. Trouble is, Mark, what do you do if Met get a goal? You have to have a plan B. Craven. Turn into a decent defender CJ Craven McCarthy Owen McCarthy chance to put this one in great ball to the back post Reese. Yeah, he's waiting for it to drop the other side of his mark you've got to get up and attack that it yeah. was stood up there long enough great Bulldog. ball in from Kyle McCarthy superb cross good defending yeah the... great defending from Bulldog but McCarthy you know centre back sending a cross in there and then to be fair Great touch by the full back there. Yeah, he's done his job big time there. I think that's 14, could be, is it? Curtis Reese going down. They wouldn't want to miss him at this point in the game. Thirty-four minutes absolutely flown by. As yet, no real spectacular saves had to be made from either goalkeeper. You know, Ben Moon there, just in picture, Mark. He got that knock, uh, got a yellow card for the elbow. Now he can't rough up Emily Lewis anymore. There you are. I, he has to pull out the challenges earlier there. As we said, they always end up. Once you're on the yellow, it's danger. A crazy stat here, Tom, from the Cardiff Met, and they've scored plenty of goals. Only three players have scored for the Met this season. How do you find that? Us. <laughs> Sam Jones, six, Lewis Reese four, Elliot Evans, four. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure that I heard that right, Mac, but I think Nathan Peach got a red card for Bala Ooh, against Flint. That's a big game as well. Because Bala, like I said, they lost their last game to Cardiff Met 1-0. So they'll they're in the final of the MG, of course. Congratulations to Connors Key and Bala. Can I have a 2-1? No. Connors Key still ahead. Have a rest. 2-0 up against Pennebond, Ballon nil, Flint nil. I think that would be the big surprise result of the evening, would it to stay that way? Pennebond and uh, Haverford West. Good leap from Sam Jones, couldn't keep it on target though. So there's goals flying in everywhere, Tom. Yeah, think Jamie Veal's have... got the second goal yeah. there, down at uh, Bridge Meadow. Jamie Veal getting the second goal down at the Bridge Meadow, yeah, great stuff for... Have the West. Chubb gets the cross in. Just haven't got that physical height, have they? Uh, you know, the two 
Jones and Reese. they're not the biggest centre forwards and you, you would expect the two centre backs for Pontefreeth Vincent and Evans to deal with those crosses and, and coming in it's early in the game Thomas 36 minutes or oh, tremendous header from Lewis Cabango in midfield Owen Evans first touch from Reese. Vincent gets a touch in Chubb Evans gets her first Owen swaps wings and Joe Hunt just hooks it out of play from the two managers so far Tom I think it's Jenkins who will be disappointed if his team doesn't go in with a lead at half time yeah but Ashley Morris hasn't made a save not Mark. at all not at all yeah back your argument there two best efforts have been actually or on target efforts Chubb looks for Lewis edge of the box hook clear by Kieran Lewis McCarthy heads it back in once again Curtis Reese clears it was three against one then but Craven puts it back in McCarthy hooks it out of play yeah. Ben Amun is the top goal scorer like you said for Pontefreed he has four goals Ben Amun and apart from Amun Tom nobody else has over two goal scoring in this league no, it's Ma a tough Mark. league tough league to get goals in <laughs> Mark if you're leaking goals at one end and you're not scoring the other end it's yeah. called a problem yeah a big problem yeah Corey Jenkins fires the throw down You'd have to say, percentage-wise, the Met have been well on top. Oh, Chance-wise, yeah. Hunt's effort was, you know, best effort of the match so far. Elliot Evans probably fluffed Met's best half chance. Well, they, there was a stat that they, I think it's one of the biggest ever World Cup stats at one of the games last night. The one team had 17 and a half percent possession in all the game and won the game. It's what the game's all about. Yeah, absolutely. Putting the ball in between the sticks and rattling the net. Jones. Owen. She's got to drive at people now. Chance Elliott Evans. Chubb is gliding up alongside him. Yeah, he's got to go in a bit earlier for me again. They're back out. Lewis. Just numbers in behind. Now they've got time to set up. Ponty. Well, basically what they're saying is, break us down. Ben Amun gets there first in front of Kyle McCarthy. He'll get his team to throw as well. Good work from Amun. Playing up top by yourself. But too much uh, passing around the back. Yeah, skillful player. Ben Amun. Just lacking a bit of tempo now after 39 minutes. Jenkins. Well played, Kieran Lewis. Chubb gets it first again. Reese spins his man well. Reese, X TNS. Lang. One of your Wales C players got a couple of goals for uh, TNS, Danny Davis. Danny Davis evening. scored again? Yeah. Uh, I just don't know. I don't know what more I could say about that player, Tom. How is he in this league? I find it incredible. Baldock. Well, if you're Stokes at half time and you're going off to your back four, your back four where you've sort of thrown together because of injuries. You're going to say well done to him because your goalkeeper hasn't had to make a save in 45 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Next game's for... Interesting. Ben Amun there having a real talking off the referee. He's got to be careful. He is right in his face there telling him Ben Amun is giving him an answer. So, Juan Griffiths is obviously saying this is your final warning, Ben. Be careful. What's it about? 
Well, it was about this. Hunt and Emlyn Lewis. Well, he gets himself between the ball and the man, Emlyn Lewis, and he's not going to be shaken off there. Yeah. Just getting a bit sloppy in around the middle of the area of their uh, centre back slot now. The Met. Yeah, once they try and play the ball through midfield, Mark, they can't do it because there's too many bodies in front of them. The switch is always on. Yeah. But there's not enough bodies in the box when it's there and when it's going, it's going back again. Chubb, that's what he wanted to do. Chubb goes around Bulldog. People in the box now pulls it back. Not the greatest of crosses from Chubb. There was enough bodies in there as well. What a ball that is. Amun. Oh, McCarthy does well. Superb play from Amun. As he the pace to get around. Emlyn Lewis, though. Great bit of defending from the big man. It was a good battle, that. Plenty of peace between the two of them. Curtis Reese. He could oh. be off. He could be off. He will be off. Second yellow. Surely, didn't he not receive a yellow for the last tackle? I'm sure, Mark, but... Wow, oh, he's a he's solid right through again. The, the only one thing about that is, Mark, he, the foot, his foot wasn't up in the air. But he didn't absolutely his clatters. Well, he didn't get booked for the first one. It's his first, it's a yellow card. Yeah. Well, that's my mistake because I thought he had a yellow for the first one, which you thought was a really strong tackle on the edge of the box. Yeah. Yeah, we've got Andy Legg alongside us, as I said, uh, working for uh, BBC. And he just doesn't understand how uh, that one hasn't been given as a red. In today's rules, Tom, right through the player, he's gone. Absolutely. Chubb. Well, these are the type of games if the Met are going to finish in the top six for the first time in five seasons. They need to win these type of games when you've got as much possession as this. Well, Mark, when you look at the, you know, the score lines, I know it's only half time, but the charges are starting to come from behind. So, you know, Newtown, Halford West, you know, both winning yeah. this evening, Arba losing, so they're right on the tails of Cardiff Met for that sixth position. Chubb whips it across Baker. Baker does well to get there first before Vincent. Great ball, Evans. Jones didn't. And Reese blasts his shot over the top. It was a decent ball in from Evans. Didn't know whether Sam Jones should have attacked it in the air, but it dropped the Lewis Reese. And it's perfect for him on that left foot of his. Yeah, possibly. I mean, Chubb, again, not the best across his layoff of Baker. Lovely little dink into the six yard box. And that's a wild, wild effort, really. Yeah, I, I think you've described that really well. Really. It's a lovely dink, you know. That but far post got to be attacked on it like we said Mark both the strikers they're not really they don't really look like scoring Mark they're not they're not lively in the box they're not looking sharp footballers come strikers two good footballers as well Sam Jones and Lewis Reese. maybe perhaps I don't have that killer instinct as nines you know, you, yeah, you, you, you were the proverbial nine. You you were much more interested in putting a ball in the back of the net and looking pretty. But, Mark, doesn't matter how... Is it, all you need is a, is a final touch in a six-yard box. Do you know how they go over the line? But Two added you've got to be lively. Think. A game where neither goalkeeper has had to make a save in the first 45 minutes. Well, what will disappoint the Met manager is the fact that they haven't tested Ashley Morris at all. Yeah, Emlyn Lewis deciding to go long again and there is Ashley Morris having one of his quieter nights of the season so far. I was here a couple of weeks ago when they played at home to Connors Key Nomads and the game was all over at half-time, 3-0. Yeah. McCarthy again challenging with the moon. Jenkins gets a header. Bloom the break is on the break is on his three Evans Chubb is in behind him or will he put it in early far post ball Lewis Reese with the header back across not enough pace on the cross just stood it up 
didn't put enough pace on it. Still a good battle between these two. And the moon is holding the ball up well, Tom. When he let's let's be fair, he's up there by himself. Twamley, if they could have swapped it then, was out on the left hand side. They've got to start getting the ball to young Twamley a bit, I think. He's been on fine form the last few weeks. Just hasn't had the ball this evening. Vincent. He started the contest really well, Mark. They sort of finished in the half really well, but not too much in between, to be honest. And then again, just seeing this cross from Elliot Evans at the far post, a header by Reese. Again, it was a nothing header, really. So stay with us for the second half. Hopefully, there will be goals. There will be. The results board going across the front of the screens all in the second half. Very important evening. Six games in process. Chubb. Sam Jones headed on. Nobody else in there. Tactical switch for me, Tom. Uh, real off-the-cuff tactical switch here. I would play Chubb up in the front two from right back because I just think he got a bit more about him in the box. A bit more physicality and a bit more pace. Can you see that happening? No. No. <laughs> Hunt. Just threads it through to the goalkeeper. Twamley. Lewis. Back to front from Lewis. Gives Reese a chance. I think Dave Vincent will be happy with that all day. They haven't really been worked hard. And there's the half-time whistle at the University of Sport, South Wales Sports Ground. It's nil-nil at half-time between Pont de Bree and Cardiff Met. And we will look forward for more goal action and thrills and spills in the second period. Don't go away. See you in the second half.
Welcome back to the University of Wales Sports Ground, where Cardiff met a nil-nil against Pontypridd United. In the JD Cymru Premier League, as Emlyn Lewis goes long for the first time of the second period, and Dave Vincent hooks away. Still alongside me, Tommy Morgan. Big team talks, Tom. Yeah, huge talks at half time, I'm sure, from both managers. I mean, more of the same, but we need some cutting edge in the top third of the pitch from Cardiff Met and Pontypridd. Well, I mean, probably would settle for a point on their first half performance. Mark, you mentioned that a couple of times. Yes, um, uh, I think the biggest talk at half time, Tom, just cut, cut in there, was uh, amongst the two sets of fans, was a couple of the. Uh, Almost yellows, almost reds, especially the last one from yeah. Curtis Reese. Yeah, a couple of people I spoke to as well did mention that, that uh, Reese was fortunate to stay on the pitch. Ash Morris goes long with a kick, Amun with a touch, Baker, Harry Owen into Lewis Reese. The break is on here now, he's got to go forward, he can get a shot off here if he tees it up. I think he should have gone direct again. He had a chance to go more direct than Elliot Evans. Another pass going backwards and it lets the bodies come in behind the ball again. Yeah, Lewis. Just, just no tempo, is there? Just so slow, Mark. So easy for the two centre halves. Oh, oh, it's an own goal, in fact. Elliot Evans on match up will claim it. But I think it's Joe Evans who gets it just before his goalkeeper. And it's. Uh, Terrible goal to give away for Pontypridd United in their current predicament. When you luck's out, you luck's out. And that is an unbelievable own goal. Yeah, there's a nothing cross. I think it happened in the first half once, Mark. It was nearly not who stuck a foot out and didn't get a touch on it. And this time, the ball comes in. It is Elliot Evans. Yeah, left-footed, left-footed, right? Nothing, keepers call for it. And, I mean, it's just, like, like we were saying earlier, Mark, if you're giving it give... If you're going to concede goals, make the other team work for it. Not goals like that. That is total lack of communication between defenders and goalkeepers. In it goes, right into the mixer. That's on the edge of the six-yard box, by the way. Morris comes to collect, and is hooked into the back of the net by Joe Evans, and it's 1-0 to Cardiff Met. And, and no pressure on him, Mark. There's no pressure whatsoever on him. When your luck's out, your luck is out, and it's 1-0 to the Met. 14. As Curtis Reese looks as if his game's over, yeah, Mark. Yeah, he had a couple of tough tackles in the first period, and Curtis Reese looks like his evening's done. And there's a quick substitution being made there because the Cubs substitute is not even ready for that one. James Sadler, by the look of it, was warming up, but they have a mountain to climb now, Ponty, and that is a lift for the Mets. I mean, you get bonus goals during the season, Tom. You won't get many more bonus <laughs> that's goals a, like that. That's an early Christmas present for them, that well, is, Mark. Absolutely. Elliot Evans going to claim that on yeah. target? Well, poss possibly, but I, I wouldn't have thought so. That's going to go down as a definite own goal, Mark. And for me, Owen flicks Reese. Oh, will get the kick. Mark, that's the type I, I, of... I just can't understand. The substitutes have been warming up for 15, 20 minutes and not one of them is ready to come on. That is unbelievable. And now they're down to ten men. Yeah. In a vital part of the game. Cole McCarthy again hasn't put a foot wrong in the central of defence. Well, to be honest, Mark, he's had a pretty easy evening. He picks the pieces up. And Emlyn goes and attacks the first yeah. ball. Yeah. But like you said, a goal at this stage of the evening is a massive goal for the Met in their current position in the league with teams around them competing for points on the evening yeah James Sadler it is will be replacing Twamley gets it back to the unfortunate Evans Evans goes all the way back this time to Ash Morris Amun gets the first header McCarthy just does what he's supposed to do most probably lands one right on top of the camera there the ca that cameraman in front of us told us he was a bit of a player, but he ducked out of that one, Tom. <laughs> Certainly did. Oh, 
how do you pick yourself up? You've got to pick yourself up, Tom. The bad luck, like I said, goes against you. But it's early, death. It's early. It's only five minutes into the second half. Amun gets the header. There's a long way to go in this game. Character is what it's all about now. That's brilliant from Jones to get there first. You get a chance to run at Vincent Jones. Almost gets the ball across. But that's one in, one in to win the game. Winning a 50-50 in the air and driving forward. Good play by Sam Jones. Yeah. I think this service didn't help Evans there, did it? Ball pops up in the air. And just... Sam Jones just latches onto it. But really, should be getting a shot on target. Got, yeah, yes. I, I think he should have yes. got to try and get the shot off. McCarthy whips one across the front, headed away by Ben Amun. CJ Craven trying to get the shot off. Lewis trying to thread one in behind to Chubb. A second goal at this stage of the game could be Curtins, to be honest, for Pontefreed with the problems they have at the moment. Craven, it's a decent cross in, Jones with the header, tries to guide it into the corner, just not enough on it, they're two old teammates there, Sam Jones, again Mark, Sam Jones shouldn't be having a header on target from that distance, the defender, he's got to be closer than that, well, that's his own old teammate from Cambria and Clinic, Joe yeah. Evans, Jones of course spent a couple of seasons at Barry Town, as a right winger, it's most of his playing days were at Cam Bryan and Clinic as a as a winger. Yeah. Chance to put a foot on the ball for the home side. Obviously, he's rattled by that early well, goal in the second half. There's Elliot Evans, who's like you said, had an early Christmas present there with that goal, Evans. Kieran Lewis, the big men going up now. Joe Evans will look to atone for the goal he gave away this end. Vincent forward. Amun waiting for it. Pretty good delivery, just too much in the end. Lewis just puts himself in the way of Amun. Again, the set pieces from neither side, the delivery's been poor, Mark, for both teams. Yeah, you that's right, you've got to put it into an area where a header's going to get you a goal. Let's get it in between the sticks. Airbus nil, Connors key one, Connors key still ahead and still not giving. Newton are taking a 3 1 lead at Kynarvan. Rushton with a third, Mark. Rushton gets the third, Haverford West County. Still 2-0 ahead against Pennebon. Ballard and Flint are 0-0 with Nathan Peet being sent off. And TNS are steaming ahead against Aberystwyth. 5-0. You did say it earlier in the evening, Tom, that uh, Aber are doing well. They don't want to suffer any real hide-ins to knock their confidence. That could be one tonight. Well, 35 minutes to go yet, mind. Yeah, long way to go. We know that on their evenings or on their days... TNS can do that to teams. You just don't want to be on the wrong end of it. Thing is, you know, Albert slip a couple of places if uh, results stay the, stay the same, Mark. I'm looking at uh, Ponty Preed in front of us now, Tom. It's Ryan Jenkins, of course, would be the happier man now. But you've got, like you said, the likes of uh, young Twamley up top, who's been in good form of late, and Hunt on the side. They just haven't had no service as wingers. No, but so what do they do? Well, Hunt, to be fair, has been busy. The looking busier the both, yeah, looking for work. And you know, tommy has got to find, go and look for the ball, go back into yeah, the field, because he uh, he's got the ability to go go past players, Mark. He, he's got to be looking to get onto the possession of the ball. Yeah, and go and get it for himself because it's not getting to him. And likewise, his play, his teammates should be looking for him. Look, they know he can open up defenses. Yeah. Emlyn Lewis back to the goalkeeper, Alex Lang. McCarthy. Harry Owen comes off his marker, just as you said. Jones. Slide rule pass didn't work. Owen. Craven. They'll just come out and start again. Lewis just drops his shoulder. 
Thatcher back inside to McCarthy. McCarthy wide to Craven. Patterns of play at the back will be patterns of play they've trained through all week. Chubb does well to keep that in play. But there's no centre forwards in there screaming for it now, look Tom. You well, see the two centre forwards in there now, Lewis Reese and Sam Jones. You've got to be demanding that. There's the ball in there. There's your chance when it does come in. Well, no free kick given. Reese on the edge. Just misguides his pass behind Elliot Evans. And they were four on four then. Mark, you pointed out there's two strikers there. No one of them comes short. Right, so you're talking about pattern of play. Well, I tell you one thing they're not doing then. They're not including their two centre forwards when they're practising because none of them are three at all. They're only waiting for the ball coming across, for crosses to come in. Yeah, and it's just the one cross that they put into the box, which wasn't put in by one of their centre forwards, of course. It was put in by Joe Evans in the first couple of minutes of the second period, which currently gives Met the lead against Ponty McCarthy. Lewis just clips it away. Decent ball. Twamley now with the ball in the right area where he does want it. Sadler. Sadler will keep the ball well and work his socks off. Corey Jenkins. Amun runs the line. McCarthy, who for me has been the game's best player so far this evening, hasn't had to do that much, but he's just been... Decent and tidy in what he's had to do. Craven hooks it on. Mark, he's had no pressure on him whatsoever. I mean, you could play sweeper tonight. I don't but, know about that, Tom. It's a yeah, bit cold. <laughs> it's a bit cold, maybe. OK, then. <laughs> oh, but if, if it was a nice warm even, like in Doha, yeah, you'd be, I, yeah, I'd be happy. That. Harry Owen. Owen gets a run at Jenkins. Reese is in a great position now. There's four. There are three against three if he puts it in. Had to go in first time. Took too many touches, may get a corner. But Morris collects. Morris would be really disappointed with that goal. Yeah, he conceded. Yeah, definitely. He's been a professional, he is. I mean, a defender in that position. You've Communication, got to leave. Tom? Yeah, absolutely, he must have been. Amun. Deft little header from Amun to Twamley. Twamley back inside to Sadler. Sadler. Swamley. Bodies forward for the first time for a while. Twamley goes one way, goes the other against Harry Owen. That's more like it's what we talked about, getting the ball at your feet. If you get it, then you could do something with it. Yeah. Uh, but a little bit too much me. Overplayed that a little bit. Twamley's got to get that ball in the box after beating your man twice. You'd have to beat you three or four times. has to be the long throw I think it's Corey Jenkins with the throw Twamley will come short and try and play the one-two with it but Amun is up for the header Vincent's up for the header it's not the greatest long throw by the way the race is on here Sam Jones is a real speed merchant as well great tackle tremendous tackle from the substitute Craven goes straight Kira Nuss was keeping him on side Far post ball to Elliot Evans. Chubb following up. Will take a touch and put it back in the box. Chubb doesn't do it. He puts it back to Evans. Penalty. Looked all over the penalty to me. Just overplaying though, Mark. Oh, there's no arguing about it. I may have got that one wrong. The big man Baker went down. And Ponty are not very happy with that. Dave Vincent says he's uh, thrown himself to the ground there. From the angle we were at, it looked interesting. Yeah, but why did Craven not knock it in straight away there? Oh, drama oh Baker, bring your bathers next week. It's just yeah. falling to ground. Yeah, he's going, he going to ground before the ball got there or the challenge came in. That's very unlike one of the Mets hard men in midfield, <laughs> Baker. I think he may take a bit of ribbon in the changing room this week over that one, Tom. Yeah, I think so. 9.5, I think he got the Richter scale there. Could have been a 10 from some. 
judges there for the all important goal on the hour still belongs to Cardiff Met whether it is given to Elliot Evans I think it will be given as an own goal myself personally but the game's still on Ponty still well in the game I don't think Elliot Evans can claim that goal unfortunately it might be given as an Elliot Evans goal in the Ev Elliot Evans household Tom <laughs> yeah but outside that I think he'll struggle I'll give him an assist though yeah he'll take the assist but it could be three massive points as we keep talking about. Haverford West and Pennebont, the surprise result of the evening for you so far, Tom? Uh, I'm not surprised, to be honest. Uh, nothing surprising me in the league at the moment. I mean, there's so many surprise results. Um, you know, with the players they've got, Haverford West, you'd expe expect them to be in the top six, didn't you? Pennebont, they, they've got into this situation for the last two or three seasons in and around this spot and for me tonight this this was a game it was a big big game for Griff and his team tonight headed back towards his goalkeeper this time Joe Evans no problem Ash Morris again that's a tremendous leap from McCarthy right in front of our eyes there it has to be five to six inches in height difference tremendous header from a defender scored perfect timing Mark Twamley Jenkins Jenkins of course has played for the likes of Merthyr Lanetley and the likes as a forward he's playing as a right back this evening He's a very steady influence, McCarthy, yeah, though. He, he, he always has been Mr. Dependable, hasn't he? Maybe sometimes, you know this, Tom, it can go against you if you're a player who can play in so many positions. Yeah, well, he's goal down to Hartford West. Oh, goal of the season. What a strike that was last season. Yeah, and he did well enough to get in our squad as well, the Wales Sea squad, which was a, a great achievement for him. Evans. Lewis, in fact, with a towering headed away just wants a foot race here hunted as he clears I think we have missed a bit of a change here Tom because I think Hunt is playing a lot deeper now they go on with a a two up top now with Twamley and Ben Amun. no Hunt goes back out into his left wing spot Goals again. Plenty goals at Carnarvon. Airbus nil. Connors Key still clinging on to that one. Carnarvon two. Newtown three. Haverford West two. Pennebont nil. Baller nil. Flint nil. And the New Saints are galloping with a Sislovich goal now. Six nil at Aberystwyth with, with 27 minutes left on the clock. Oh dear me. Connors Key, you've got a second. Which most probably put that one to bed. Yeah, absolutely. Ash Morris goes down on the 63rd minute. It's a hold up in the game. Once again, you see a lot of these goalkeepers' injuries around this point of, t of games. Zemlin Lewis just simply. Hasn't had to do a lot, but hasn't really put a foot wrong tonight. Just seen the goal again, Mark. You know, that's a nothing cross. Could be dealt with. Absolutely not. Wow, that is a bizarre... As you see, bizarre own goals. That is right up there with them. I don't, you, just, you, just, you can't just legislate for Mark. If you're a manager, you just be... We are, that's why we haven't got too much hair left between us. It's because you've been ripping it out when defenders make a mistake like that. Well, once again, here comes a drinks break in on December the 2nd. It's, I think it's minus degrees here, and it? it looks like they're all having a drinks break. Yeah, maybe they're pretending they're out the World Cup. I think it, will, it looks like an injury from Ash Morris. That's where the ref has gone back. 
Yeah, second goal is a Callum Morris uh, penalty Callum, for the Nomads. Yeah, over the, over the years, Callum has really become a penalty king, I think, in this league, Tom. Yeah, very rarely misses, does he? Very rarely. Very rarely, yeah. I think about six or seven years ago, we, we, we did name him, as we do sometimes. Oh, Frank Lampard of uh, of this league, and he uh, he gets amongst the goals. Yeah, I think though he's changed. He's changed now for uh, you know, changed his game now to being a more of a defensive yes, player. Yeah, he's playing on When you're a Bangor City, he's a free-scoring midfield player. Yeah, getting the box at the right time. You know, terrific player. Box to box. James Bloom there's coming and done a decent job this evening in that holding role in midfield. I don't think anybody has dominated anybody in there. Is Carl McCarthy again? I've been impressed. I don't know what you think uh, this evening, Tom. I, I don't forget. I think he's 19 years of age at centre midfield, and uh, Dixon Cabongo. He's done really well tonight. At 19 years of age, to be playing right in the hub in there. Yeah. yeah okay. It hasn't been fierce in there tonight. But he looks a decent player. Yeah. He plays a simple pass, and the most difficult pass in football is the simple pass. Absolutely. Oh, it's gone through the legs. Joe, Sam Jones. Whips it across, or oh, oh, it was an almost ball. Yeah, Baker could have wanted that a bit more then, but Baldock wanted it more. Could be yellow, could be yellow, will be yellow. Juan Griffith, Kabongo, professionally pulled the shirt back, and he will take the yellow. Yeah, that's not a difficult job for the great referee. turn. Up. Smart turn. Yeah. They're still in the game. I mean, there's 24 minutes left on the clock. They're only a goal behind. Just need to dig in now and get something to turn their season around. They will be encouraged by what's happening at TNS this evening. Lewis Reese, has he got the pace to drive down in the corner? Great ball. Touch. Brilliant touch. Oh, and the ball is brilliant. Evans. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Textbook break. By Cardiff Met, Lewis Reese first, wonderful touch from Cabango. It's Elliot Evans, just puts the ball wide of the mark. Would have been one of the goals of the season, that one. But yeah. Evans misses the target. Yeah, certainly. Terrific play. Initially, Reese, great ball into Cabango, and he lays it in a perfect into the path of Elliot Evans, who side foots it and just wide of the post. But, you know, like a knife through butter there, they attacked with precision. And the. The finish wasn't quite what we wanted. He but will be terrific. disappointed in yeah. the end. It was quite a miss, Tom. He's missed by two or three yards there. But tremendous play. More of the quality we want to see from this league. Joe Evans playing against his old team. Evans, Reese, and Sam Jones are starting to creep more and more onto the two centre backs. And from 30 off 35 yards out, Tom, they would fancy a foot race. Yeah. It's a bit of good news for you, Mark. Will Evans is equalised for Newport County against Crew. Yeah, brilliant, Will Evans. Well, he's making a great go of it in a professional game. You know, he's not a youngster, he's 23 years of age, but he worked at his game in our league, got to the top of his game in our league, scored that brace of goals against England. And hasn't looked back, Tom. He's made a big impression on uh, lots of fans down at uh, yeah, yeah, Rodney definitely. Parade. Yeah, yeah. He, apparently he's, you know, he's a real grafter, which he was. Yeah. Lewis Reese. He's been busy in the second period, Lewis Reese. Yeah, he's shown a good turn of pace, to be fair to him. Ash Morris. Baker heads away. Well, this is going to be one of them evenings for Alex Lang and the Met, if it carries on like this, that can we just keep the ball out because they're not putting no pressure on us. Strong tackle. I think the referee acknowledged it. Amun. Lewis heads away. They get the free kick in a dangerous area this time. Yeah, more like a ruck there, isn't it? They just simply have to keep competing. James Bloom there, competing for the ball, cuts his team a free kick. 
50-50 situation in there, I think it was. Harry Owen and Bloom going for the ball. Yeah. He took his time in awarding it, by the way. Yeah, he did, actually, yeah. It's a good area again, though, Tom. Twamley's on it. Just need a quality delivery, Mark. And Kieran Lewis is on it as well. Just got to whip it across this 12-yard spot. You know, there's five or six big white shirts in there. Emlyn Lewis will conduct the phase from the defence. Interesting for me to see Baker in the holder, not picking anybody up. Twamley. It's dropped about chance here. Oh. oh, just gets stuck under his feet. It was Dave Vincent, the centre-back. Twamley sticks it back in. First header, McCarthy heads away. Bloom wins the headed duel against Baker. And just for a couple of minutes, Ponty trying to turn the screw to get the equaliser back. Hunt. Twamley being closed down. It's a key area. Just Bloom hooks it away. He didn't want to take any danger there. Yeah. He knew the break was on if they nicked the ball from him. Just in. Little move there. Eight nil now, Market uh, Park Hall. Eight nil. Pr problem, Gui and David. Well, I think we did. Did we have an eleven nil last year when Bala was it? Did Bala defeat Penabon? Ten or eleven was it last year? The, the last year's record score was 11-0 when Rich Kipis took a very young team up there heading towards yeah, the cup final but that could be challenge this evening Tom yeah it could be 8 still 20 minutes left <laughs> Twamley back inside Sadler's done well since coming on just ticked the ball over in midfield and it just started to creep back into this game Tom yeah I think uh, subconsciously I think Meta just dropped off, haven't they? How important was that Elliot Evans chance to well, make it 2-0? You won't get a better opportunity this evening. Just that one there, Lewis Rees said, I, I, I could take in what you're saying. How has he let Dave Vincent, the six foot four centre half, spin out as easy as that in there? If you're doing a press, you've got to press it all the way, haven't you? Twamley Ponty starting to pass the ball around at the back to create their own room. Bloom, bodies forward, now Sadler's got forward, Amun has gone out, Keaton Lewis keeps creeping forward as far forward as possible, Baker will always be competing for seconds, Stokes in the dugout there looking more encouraged by his team's performance in the last couple of minutes. Surely the Meta not going to drop off with 17 minutes left in the game six clean sheets so far this season Alex Lang great defending from McCarthy again yeah. that is defending at the top level just blocks the run I'm yeah. sure we'll show the replay you are Tom take it over you know as a striker I used to hate that he just you just can't do anything about it he just it's great, it's, great just, defending he's reading the game McCarthy has oozed class during this game Craven Owen still want my forwards to be hungry if I'm the Met manager still want a bit more from him I don't think Mark you know you know, look at two front runners they're not um, as I say playing off each other aren't they? there's no there's no chemistry between the two players Craven guides ahead of back they haven't linked up once tonight. You know, one, two, or nothing. Plenty of goals. One coming short, all one going over long. The JD Cymru Premier this evening, especially at Park Hall, where there's eight four TNS and a bumper of a game by the look of it at the Oval. Three two at the moment. Vincent showing his skills the last few minutes. Vincent. Joe Evans gets it wide. Corey Jenkins, ex Murtha. Jenkins. McCarthy. Owen. Yeah, just caught him from behind there, Jenkins. As he turned his man. 
It's a smart turn. I don't think there was a lot of intent there. But it's definitely a free kick. And one which the likes of Emlyn Lewis and company will get forward from. Yeah. Yeah, it's caught him when he's a kill, is it? That could be a little bit painful, I can. No substitutions as yet from Cardiff Met. I think they, when they got the 1-0 victory against Ballard, I think they played the whole game without bringing any subs on. Interesting. Not always needed if you see yourself getting over the line. No. Craven. Strike this in with his right foot. It's a decent ball in as well. Come and collect it. Too easy for me for the goalkeeper. That wasn't in that bad an area, you know, Tom. It wasn't in the six yard box. No. So for me, you've got to be challenging for that. Ponty are definitely didn't. not out of this game. No, absolutely. 1 0 with 14 minutes left on the clock. The only thing I will say is that they, in the 76 minutes, they haven't tested Alex Lang once. No. Nope. Dixon Kabango. McCarthy. Yeah, they're just too deep there now, Ponty. But they're, they're playing at the back now, the Met, in their own area, and the Ponty defence are 30 yards in their own half. You've got to get up to the halfway line and press the game a bit. Otherwise... They're just going to take their time. Craven. Is that a decent game, Craven? Sam Jones. Whips it across the front. Vincent casually plays his way out. Puts Hunt under pressure in there, by the way. Sadler. Kabongo again. Keane in the midfield. He's been the best midfielder on show this evening, no doubt. Just don't seem to have any end problems with the Cardiff Met. When they get in around the box, they don't look, they really look threatening. Yeah, well, I think that the best way to get around that is to put it in more often. Well. Put it in the box, keep putting it in the box and get bodies in there. But they're on a decent run at the moment. They're in the top six of the Cymru Premier League. They will, if they get another victory this evening, no goals against. And Ballard... You know, still draw, will there just be a point behind Bala? Yeah, that sounds like a bruising encounter there this evening at Mice Teggett. Bala currently nil-nil against Flint. Flint, by the way, needing points now. Yeah. I think we know, Tom, I think we learned our lesson last season, how hard this league is to win, we know. It can be win, it can be won by other teams, as Connors Key did a couple of years ago. But what we didn't see last year was how difficult it was or is to stay in with the likes of Barry Town going out of the league. Yeah, absolutely. And it will be again. Airbus seem to be marooned. <laughs> They're gone. They're gone, shall we say. You know, they'll keep competing. But as for who's going to join them, it's any one of four or five teams, I think. Yes. Uh, you know, who's going to make the top six? I mean... It looks obviously substitution Saint, being Saints made. Saints and Connors Key are definite. I think uh, Penabont, Bala, Carnarvon, Met. Joe Hunt goes off. And Elliot Richards comes on. Richards comes on. It's Bloom, in fact. James Bloom goes off. Bloom goes off. Richards on and that's not a bad comeback from uh, James Bloom I don't think he's played much at all this season thought he competed well in there in midfield he did and I'm surprised to see him come off in fact if it was either Mixer in there Tom he was the he was the physicality in there chance hooked away by Craven Lewis Reese. just not that spring in the step now what Ryan Jenkins definitely doesn't want is for this to turn into a frantic last 10 minutes where they're just clearing their lines oh, it looks like it was going to, going to be Mark I think Dave Vincent there kills the move with a stray pass they just home defeats like we said Tom right they add up 
and they add up to do damage to your season. It'll be okay for everybody to go in the clubhouse afterwards. It'll be okay for people to say, oh, Ponty did okay tonight, 1-0. It's a defeat, You've Mark. got to get points at home if you're going to stay in this league. And unfortunately, the lads will know that. You know, we're just, we're and just it's, speaking the truth. I think, I think Mark... The games are ticking as well. By his fifth, they are ticking by. This is a fifteenth game. Only seven to the split. You need to pick up points. I mean, if they rescue a point for this game, they've done really well. And you they know. have a very, very difficult run of games coming up as well. Eighteen minutes on the clock. Ten minutes left at the University of Wales Sports Ground. Ben Amun should be screaming for this now. We've had about four chances to get it up to him. Twamley. El Emlyn knew it there. It just worked ten passes to give it away. Chance here. Jones might fancy his chances here to get at Dave Vincent. Sam Jones. Yeah, Vincent done very well showing him outside. Elliot Evans. Chubb's always been available for Elliot Evans when he didn't put it in early. McCarthy. The one thing about Met though, they do well. They take a sting of the game. Yeah. They go backwards. Yeah. They play backwards. They don't mind, which is fine. Jones. Kabongo in midfield gets it back to the skipper. Well, not the skipper, in fact. Emlyn Lewis. Chubb. Yeah, for me... The Meta almost looking like they're happy with their lot, but chance here, Amun. He said he has pace, he has electric pace, Amun, when he gets going. Outside, Twamley comes in, drags it back. Does he put it back across? Wanted handball. It was great defending from the centre back. Twamley very tricky in that area, and there's a steal there. The break's on again. Can they go this way? Jones. Break was on again. It was three against three with plenty of pace in the attack then. Yeah, Jones just lost possession at the wrong time there. He's a bit frustrated with himself. Yeah, the, the, the game won't go down. As a classic, will it? Not as a classic, Tom. Not as a classic. But saying that, Brazil are on the telly and they went nil-nil, so... No, they lost. They lost, did they? Cameroon won, yeah. Wow. See, I was too busy concentrating on my job, Tom. Yeah, I just listened to producing for you. <laughs> Alex Lang fires it long for once this evening. It had to be a foul. It would have been a foul given. But Ponty, can they steal a point? There's been a lot of late goals in the World Cups. Will we get an added 10 minutes or so? Highly unlikely. <laughs> Chubb. That was a push in the back for me. One given. Sam Jones. Chance now, Sam Jones. Oh! Well, I'd like to have a second look at that. Sam Jones can't believe it himself. It wasn't the largest of touches or a most physical of touches. Well, I'll I'll let you VAR, Tom. I'm the VAR. That's a mistake. Ball bounces. Nothing Not wrong with that. Not at all. Not at all. That is nowhere near a free kick. What, what, what's it for? Oh, he actually he touched his hand. Oh my gosh, that's uh, if a they, yellow card. If Dave <laughs> Vincent goes down as easy as that, I wouldn't fancy him against Tyson Fury tomorrow night. Wow. I don't think that is, is, he was very, very fortunate there, Dave Vincent. Ponte Preed United nil. Cardiff Met University won. Six minutes left in the Cymru Premier League clash. Vincent with the header. Harry Owen. Baker. For all the possession the Met have had, I think the, the back four. Jones, he's asking too much. Simple pass was on. Absolute simple pass was on. Lacking quality with the passing. Yeah, Corey Jenkins looks as if he's uh, pulled something there. Yeah, he won't want Corey Jenkins staying no, down. It's cramped, that's all. Cramp, uh, Just got to get up and get on with it, Corey, lad. You need to drive your team forward. You're the goal down with five or six minutes remaining. And here are some big scoring games from this evening. Connors Key, 2-0 ahead. 
at Airbus. Carnarvon 3, Newtown. No, 2 3. Newtown winning 3 2. Haverford West looked like they've got the job done against Pennebon 2 0. Bala get the goal against Flint. Yeah, George Newell. George Newell. And New Saints have made it 9 0 against Aberystwyth. Plenty of goals. Ben Clark got the ninth goal for the New Ju- Saints, which is a massive defeat for Aberystwyth with that. Joe Evans and the goalkeeper, Ash Morris, will be so disappointed if that mistake is going to cost them the points tonight. Yeah, but it's been happening all season, Mark. It's, it was yeah. calamitous. Yes. It was a really poor goal to uh, concede right at the start of the second half, just when you probably yeah. had a bit of impetus from the manager. And Evans... Joe Evans and Dave Vincent have performed apart from that quite well on the evening. It's a uh, fine margins, but fine margins know, are costing them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and indi- individual errors. I mean, Evans. You know, I know it's been really harsh on him, but you've got to be doing better there. You've got to let the keeper, or you're going to deal with it. If you're going to deal with it, you've got to clear it. There had to be a shout from behind as well, because that is in that actually. He is on the edge of the six-yard box as he hooks it away. Yeah. Do you want Ashley but, coming off his line a bit more? The, the thing but he's is, there to come and get it. Yeah, he's coming to get it. Yeah. And the thing is, though, he's at the stretch. Why is he stretching? If you've got good eyesight, you look behind you, there's got nobody there. Substitution will be made by the look of it. Lewis Harrison comes on the field. <laughs> It's like one of the youngsters coming on again. He'll replace Corey Jenkins, who's had a decent game. Corey Jenkins, by the way. But youngsters coming on the field now to add their youth towards Ponty's challenge of getting an equaliser in the last three or four minutes. There will be four or five added minutes, I should imagine, due to the injuries. But I'm looking for a change of shape, Tom. Oh. The youngster gives the first touch, he has away. Lewis, Sam Jones drives through. Harry Owen, can he take the shot on Owen? Great block again by Evans. Yellow card. Yeah, for the late... I, you thought he'd have whistled there for a free kick. He played a little bit of advantage. He could have brought it back. Sam Jones is going through Vincent. Yeah, and it is a yellow card. It's a strong challenge. And leaves a little bit in afterwards as well. Yeah, it's probably a bit of frustration there. There will be no rush. Evelyn Lewis is going down out to Harry Owen and Elliot Evans to say, look after the ball. He's telling them, put it on my head and they're going to head the second goal, yeah? I'll be surprised if it does come across. It's going to. Owen stands up to the back stick, Evans. Great header! Oh, off the line by Joe Evans. Tremendous header from Evelyn Lewis. Reese, 50-50 challenges, Sadler, Elliot Evans just puts it back in the mixer, there's the call this time, that might have been the call, that could have stopped the first goal going in, Morris, fires it long, McCarthy missed his first header of the evening, it would be a real steal here now for Ponty, will they to get an equaliser, yeah that's a just excuse, some language there coming over the mic at the end of the game. But there's no need to give that foul there, were they? Hunt. Emily Lewis thought he was on his way to a goal there. It was a great corner, by the way. He's obviously gone across and said to him, put on the far post. Yeah. And he delivered it wonderfully. Could he easily have scored there. Powerful header. Joe Evans, the right place there. Lang. Fourth official hasn't shown the board yet, but we're in the 89th. So for the Met, Tom, were they to get away with a 1-0 year? It's just a box-ticking exercise. Yeah. We uh, got our goal, we kept a clean sheet, and we got three away points. Yes, but six points, you know, they've 3-0 and 1-0. It gives them, you know, six points against Pont de Prix. Lewis Reese goes down off the ball there. And they got a a bundle of hard games coming up, Ponty. Yes, uh, he wins the flick, he just gets a bang on the head, I think. Like, yet again, it's a free kick. 
definitely a free kick. Kabongo fleet a foot in there. I think he produced the uh, plus four, Tommy. Yeah. Plus four. So yet again, he got a, a free kick in a good area. I just don't think it. Oh, Emily Lewis is still going up. I think you've got to leave a couple of bodies forward on this now. You'd have thought so, much. In it goes. Headed out. It's got to be hooked clear and get up the other end as quick as possible. Great piece of skill from the substitute. Excellent bit of play. Amun. Got to flood bodies forward now, Pontebreed. Lewis. Nothing to lose, Mark. No, Bulldog. Amun's in there asking for it. Could be favourite for this. Knocks it down. Chance here. What a block that is. Much saving block. Referee looks at it. McCarthy stops the leap. Referee has a big look at that. Um, Amun's not asking for nothing, by the way. But oh, what a challenge. I think it's CJ Craven with yeah, a challenge. Craven it was. But great header down there from the big man, yeah. Amun. Terrific block. But as this cross comes in now, just... It looks to me, well, no. Both slipped, Just, I think. Yeah, McCarthy but... slips and Amun slips, and to his credit, he never asked for nothing either. But when they were asked to defend in a resolute fashion, Craven come up with the goods. Yeah, absolutely. Such could be the difference in winning points in important games, Tom. Lewis. Hunt, will he take the shot on? The body's in the box now, it's got to go in as quick as possible. Lewis, blocked by Owen. Sadler will want it now. Sadler will get the chance to put it in as well. They've got to put it in the box. Think he'll go wide at Baldock, and Baldock will have to get the diag in. It's not the worst ball from Baldock. Headed across by Chubb. Twamley hooks one on, beats the stand in the end. Ponty yeah. just showing. A couple of flashes of resilience, but it looks like another evening without any yeah. goals or points. Mark, a bit of intent, yeah, but no real quality in the final third, the pitch. Most probably the scoreline for the final time this evening. Airbus nil, Connors key two, Coynavon a 3-2 down to Newtown. Harvard West 2 0 up at Pennebond. Bala looks like they've got over the line with a 1 0 win against Flint. Oh dear me. And the new Saints have made it 11. 11 against Aberystwyth. That'll be a tough journey back to Aberystwyth tonight. Yeah, yes, it'll be a, a real blow for that. Yeah, it's not Aberystwyth. great for the league either. Tom. No, it's, not, it's not good, no. Can't believe earlier on you said that. And you did genuinely say after. 15 minutes uh, all Abbott don't want to do is get a good hiding keep going as they've been going and they'll have to see how it affects them now yeah I think it's just long term that can have a big big effect on the, on the on the side on the confidence of the players but as this game goes Tom and uh, you know towards the end of this season that's clever play I think he'll keep it out there now Jones he shouldn't really be putting it in. Has there been anything from Pronto Preed which tells you they could stay up quickly? No. Simple as Mark, to be honest. At Fair the comment. Fair comment. It's just going to be a struggle, but a goal or an own goal from Joe Evans, a bit unfortunate, gives the three points to Ryan Jenkins and Cardiff Met. Look out for some excellent uh, goals on Scorio on Monday evening because there's plenty of them. So from myself and Tommy Morgan at the University of Wales Sports Ground, the final score is Ponte Preed United nil, Cardiff Met one.
penderfyniad sydyn gan y dyfarnwr. Dac mae'n mesur yn berffaith. Screwfix Sprint. 